Hey, my name is Danielle, and today I have my weekly weigh-in update on the Old School Points Plus program from Weight Watchers. If you guys are interested in seeing how my week went, go ahead and stay tuned. I've had a wonderful week. Happy Saturday. This week went by incredibly quick, to say the least. Um, but I wanted to come on here, you know, and tell you guys how my week went. So before I get into my actual weight loss, there is kind of a confession that I want to make to you guys. So probably for the last, I want to say three weeks, I changed the program again. But hear me out. I went, I'm still doing the Points Plus program, but I did some research and I was thinking back to when I first did it. My told you I was really successful with it before me and Leo got married. And I was like, man, I really remember fruit being points. So I did some research, did some research, and the points plus momentum is when the fruit became free. I did the old school classic points plus. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing, now I'm doing the classic points plus. Really the only difference is it really um, allots for fiber in your diet and it's, uh, really it counts fruits as points fruits aren't free which as you guys know I need that in my life and it's really if they kind of break it down like which diet or like way of eating is best for you and it's if somebody who struggles with portion control as I do um, that's why I still weigh out a lot of my stuff uh, it's it works best so that's what I've been doing and as you guys can see I've been steadily losing and I've been doing really well on it so um, anyways this week, I went ahead and weighed in. I got up super early this morning, and I wanted to jump on the scale because, as you know, it's Father's Day weekend, so happy Father's Day to all my dads out there, or to the moms who act like dads, or anybody who's taken on that role. Um, you guys are doing wonderful, and, you know, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Ladies, I've been mom and dad before. I was raised by someone for a long time who was mom and dad, so... I get it, it's hard doing both jobs, and you ladies are kicking ass doing it. And to the men out there taking care of business, you the man. Enjoy your day. But anyways, back to my weigh-in here. I'm going to go and check it out, and this week I lost 1.4 pounds. What? Yeah, so 1.4 pounds. I did really, really well. Um, I did have like one slip up this week. I went and got Froyo with my sister. And that was pretty much it, but I didn't go crazy or whatever. I counted it, but there was like, it was weird because I couldn't count for the toppings, but I counted the actual yogurt, so. Um, but yeah, I did that, and uh, I think that was pretty much it. I've been killing, killing my workouts. You guys are totally interested in any workout with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, list any ideas below. I do work out at home, so keep that in mind. Um, what else? I've been getting my water. Um, I've been watching my fruits. I can say, honestly guys, I have been lazy. I have noticed I've been a little lazy and I haven't been cooking as much. I've been doing a lot of like lean cuisines and stuff. I don't like when I do that. Every morning I'll make myself like some, like an egg white omelet, but like for lunch or something, I'll notice that. So I really wanna start being better at that. So I think I'm gonna start food prepping on the weekends when I'm off. Um, because June's, my work schedule for June has been really slow um, because I work like, as needed in the hospital. Um, ton of people are going on vacation so I'm working like five days a week um, for the whole month of July and the beginning the first two weeks of August so I want to really have that set up because I don't ever eat at work and I just think it'll be easier so anyways I'm gonna try to start food prepping I do have a full day of eating video coming your way manana hopefully that it all works out if the computer guys allow it and what else do I want to tell you yeah, I just been doing really good. Also, guys, if you follow me on Instagram, um, then you would know that I've kind of had a revelation of sorts. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna put it right here. Come on over, hang out with me. It's good times. Um, I really been reading up and looking into manifestation. Um, if you guys are familiar with the book, The Secret, I didn't read the book, but I watched the movie. Um, I've did a lot of research, and I'm really trying to remove negativity from my life. And I'm really trying to look at more of the brighter side, you know, the glass is half full instead of half empty type deal. And I really encourage you guys to try it, especially when you're on this weight loss journey because some weeks you're like, oh, it was only a point four, or I, you know, I only did this instead of, okay, 
Well, the scale isn't showing it, but you know what? I worked out four days this week, or I worked out this week, or I made a better choice. Instead of choosing the shit meal, I chose a good one, you know? And I feel like us as a whole, as a society, we really need to embrace that. And to really state your intentions for the day. And I know it sounds crazy because I've always been one of those naysayers, but try it. Before you get out of bed, say what you're grateful for and say, claim your day. Today's gonna be a wonderful day. I'm gonna have a great day. This is gonna, I'm gonna have a great workout. I'm gonna eat great. I'm going to kick today's ass and you will do it because I believe in you and the universe believes in you. You guys are wonderful and we're our own worst critics. And I really think that if we did more of this, this journey would be so much easier. And I really wish I would have started it a long time ago. Because let me tell you something. Once I decided to stop being so damn negative, I couldn't believe how many of my initial reactions were negative or my initial comments were negative. Where I literally was like, all right, wait, sorry, universe, I'm not putting out any negative energy. I mean, it doesn't happen overnight because I catch myself quite a bit and I apologize to the universe and to everybody around me. But, um, I just, I literally have to shake it off and be like, no, Danielle, no, good for them or great for them or it's not your time or you know what, you just got to put it out there, guys, so try it, try it, try it, and I promise it's going to change your life. Make a vision board. I tried one, I made one, it's sitting right above my computer here, and I look at it every day when I wake up and it's keeping my goals, I can see the goals, keeping my eye on the prize. And if that's what you need to do, then do it. I have fitness goals written on my board. Everybody says, oh, well, you don't need to do this, or you're already so far. I struggle every day. Every day is a struggle. I struggle with issues with about loving myself and loving the skin I'm in. And, you know, and, but you know what? I have to overcome it. And the only way to overcome it is to pound it in my head that I'm worth it. I'm beautiful. I did so well. I've come so far. And you guys have done the same. But, all right, so grand total, I think I'm up to about nine pounds now, which is crazy. Don't hate me from switching from Bites, what is it called, Bites Plus to Bites Classic. Same thing. Whatever floats, e a boat. I'm still doing Weight Watchers. And look out for the full day of eating. Let me know how your day, week went. Um, do you guys have any great plans this week? Um, how's your weekend looking? I'm actually going to put some sunscreen on, and me and the girls are going swimming. Because in Chicago, this weekend, it's decided to be like Arizona summer. So it's 101 today, 114 tomorrow. Rest in peace to Danielle, because it's going to be so hot, I'm going to melt. But anyways, a wonderful week. I totally believe in you guys. Let me know how you did. Not only what your weigh-ins, but your workouts, the way you ate. Did you make better choices? Did you just surprise yourself? Did you buy a shirt in a smaller size? Whatever mini victory there is, let's celebrate it. Because no victory is too small to be celebrated. But all right, guys, if you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe. We do a ton of stuff. Wait a second. Hold up. I got to tell you something. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, then you would not know this. But... I went ahead and I did another shirt campaign. If you guys are familiar with the shirt campaigns I've had before, um, I did two other ones. Um, the first one was super successful, the second one not so much. But the third one right here is dedicated to my moms who are on a fitness journey. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture right here. And this is dedicated to all my mamas out there Play dates and protein shakes. I see you ladies, I see you with that mom bod and I see you working towards your goals. And I wanted to go ahead and um, put that out there for you guys and you know I see you I see you with your mom bad and I see you working towards your goals and do the damn thing so if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these shirts from my campaign the campaign is running to July 4th um, we need five to go to print and I think we're halfway there I'm not too sure um, but yeah go ahead and um, I'll leave the link down below so you can go ahead and check yours out I got hoodies tank tops and t-shirts and a variety of colors variety of sizes um, I've had ordered from shirts from them before. The shirts are awesome quality, guys. Super soft. Very, very nice. I feel like they do run a little bit larger. So um, if you're, you know, thinking, should I go size up or size down? Just size your normal size. I wouldn't, it's not one of those, like, where you're like, holy cow, is this going to be super tight? Um, but all right, I'm going to wrap this up. Happy Saturday. Have a great week. And you guys are killing it. I'll see you later. Take it easy, guys. We're always on the edge We fight and make love
never the same time. 